I'll, I'll leave it at well, let me just leave it at one statement and then that's it. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, I believe that it's always important to exchange views with people, uh, no matter what their perspectives are. Uh, I believe that uh, I'm, you know, I, I, I think that uh, I think that we have a lot of problems in our society, and we need to be uh, finding ways to talk to people. We need to find ways to talk to people uh, where not everything is completely transparent. Libertarianism is not synonymous with radical transparency. That's often an argument that the Stasi would make in East Germany, where uh, everything had to be monitored by uh, by society. And I think often you have the best conversations uh, in smaller groups where not everything is being monitored. And that's how you can have very honest conversations and how you can think better about the future. Thank you very much. Serious people don't say, Fake news is news I disagree with. And so it's not about silencing dissenting views. You don't see uh, the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times when they disagree on an issue calling each other fake news. Um, it's about basic journalistic standards. CEOs around the world need to realize that they must manage for all stakeholders, not just shareholders. And there has been a mantra for too long that the business of business is business. But today, the business about business is improving the state of the world. And this is more important than ever. We realize that. And so thank you, Klaus, for that. And we don't have to look any farther to that mantra than 2020 itself, the year of the pandemic. In the pandemic, it was CEOs in many, many cases all over the world who were the heroes. They are the ones who stepped forward with their financial resources, their corporate resources, their employees, their factories, and pivoted rapidly, not for profit, but to save the world. You may have a business or an organization that doesn't work purely in technology, but everything is being affected by it. And I believe as leaders, one of the most important priorities isn't just to have a chief digital officer, quite the opposite. You should be the chief digital officer. You must put a deep understanding of technology at the heart of your organization. Non-communicable diseases will cost us $47 trillion by 2030. This is about as much as the US, European, and China economies combined. One, which is that more and more people are getting access to, to be able to share information, get access to, to the information that other people are sharing. And that'll just continue, right? So the real question for us is um, how, like, what types of information do people want to share? and where exactly do they want to share it with and who do they want to share it with. And I what YouTube and Facebook represent to some extent is empowering people with the ability to communicate. And uh, you, know, you mentioned the different types of content that we have on our site. It's much more than that. We've seen people expressing their thoughts, sharing experiences. We have the Queen on the site. We have the Pope on the site. We have the White House on our site. Um, it's becoming a, a, way, uh, a new way for people to communicate through uh, a democratized plat video platform.